Imagine you're a world leader, a diplomat, a captain of industry, or a footballer with a hairdo. The flip side to fame and fortune is the fact that you're a target. Your house is surrounded by barbed wire and bodyguards, so the obvious time to attack is when you're out and about. Tony Blair is rumoured to have just ordered three new Jags from a specialist coach builder somewhere in the Midlands. Not that they'd ever risk a security breach and admit to it. Look for the telltale black banding around the glass that proves it's bulletproof. Blair's new car will withstand high-velocity rounds that can travel at 2,000 miles an hour. Check out that shockwave. Conversions cost around £140,000. Any more armour than that, and we're talking military specifications for the battlefield. Some manufacturers will build you an armoured car on their own production line. Mercedes-Benz have been doing it since 1930, when they built a car for Emperor Hirohito of Japan. These days, they line their S-guard, E-guard or tank-like G-guard with high-strength steel combined with plastics. The steel stops the bullets, the plastic stops splinters entering the cabin. It all gets checked to the factory's dedicated assault testing facility. Audi have the A6 and A8 security. Now, they don't actually advertise the fact that these cars are for sale because they say if you're the kind of person who needs one, you'll find them. BMW have their £200,000 7 Series protection, which can withstand armoured piercing bullets. It also has neat options like an emergency windscreen release system, a roof lined with weapons, which we can't show you for legal reasons, and bomb-proof flooring. Even massive detonations cause just minor denting. With the passenger compartment left completely intact. But if you're fairly sure that people trying to kill you only have access to handguns, a 3 Series protection should suffice. It'll take a hit from Dirty Harry's 44 Magnum and only cost you an extra 20 grand. The beauty of all these cars is that they look totally normal and let you blend right in. Threats take many forms, but you can order a defence for all of them. Like the Tampa Detect system, now, most booby traps consist of little more than a lunchbox full of Semtex and a tilt switch attached to the underside of the car with a magnet from a hi-fi speaker. But a few trusty probes will detect that the magnetic field around the car has been disturbed and let you know as much before you drive off. Then there are concealed gun ports to slot your gun into. Now, these are very handy if you want to hit the assassin before he hits you. In fact, he won't know who shot him until he sees the hole in your door and then the hole in his leg. If you're worried about a bomb being wired into your ignition circuit, then let's face it, who isn't? You should opt for the remote starting facility. It allows you to fire up the engine from a safe and sound 100 metres away. All right, ready, everyone? Three, two, one. Then there are bond options, like an oil slick or metal tack dispenser. Completely illegal, but I suppose heads of state are above the law. We're investigating the world of bulletproof cars, and our trail has brought us deep underground to a secret test laboratory in northern France. Weeks of tense negotiating have gained us access to the place every baddie in the world would love to come. The world's leading car armourer the people who armour Range Rovers that are rumoured to be used by every nervous celeb, from David Beckham to Madonna. It's here that our bulletician works to keep the Range Rover defences one step ahead of the terrorists' attacks by making ever more sophisticated bullets, lethal concoctions of high-octane gunpowder, lead cores and steel tips. Then he tests them against the armour that lines the cars. No penetration means it's a pass, so we know, for now, the steel is ahead of the game. It's a never-ending battle, and for a couple of close-up facts, we spoke to Nick Uden, the man the rich and famous go to for advice. Nick, the thing that most people are always interested in, they're fascinated by this glass. I mean, how thick have we got here? Um, this is 38mm this is thick. Um, this is a multi-laminate. Um, 
Best quality glass comes from Italy, we find at the moment. Normal windscreens consist of a piece of plastic sandwiched between two pieces of glass. Bulletproof glazing is the same, just made of more layers and is of a higher quality to keep it optically correct. When windows are this thick, it's easy to see why a new set of glass for a Range Rover costs £25,000. But how have they protected the well-known weak spots of seams and joins? Well, we've thought of that. This is the whole idea of the design. Uh, what we've got here, if you look around here, we've got what we call a splash return or overlap. And what's that made of? This is armoured steel. Armoured steel lips that form a perfect seal to catch any stray rounds and stop so-called ballistic leakage. Add in laser-cut Swedish steel all round, an anti-tamper exhaust that redirects gases if it's blocked, and a self-sealing fuel tank like the ones in helicopters, and you've got a 165 grand four-ton fortress. But how does the weight affect performance? Well, this Red Range Rover is standard and obviously faster to 60. Surprisingly, though, the silver armoured car stops first thanks to beefier brakes. However, at high speeds, physics takes over and the extra momentum is harder to slow down. When it comes to handling a slalom, the normal car feels more composed and opens up a considerable lead. The armoured version's stiffer front anti-roll bar compensates for the extra weight, but causes the inside wheel to lift dramatically before the traction control cuts in to save you. We also checked the run-flat tyres. They're three times thicker than normal and let you drive for 30 miles after they've been shot. Earlier, we saw how VIPs protect themselves by armouring their cars. But, of course, that is only half the story, as you still need a highly trained driver. Normally, defensive driving is a non-contact sport. But in some cases, experts recommend the use of reasonable force. Now, I've always maintained the best form of defence is attack. So, welcome to the fifth gear school of offensive driving. You know how it is. Some flipping activist in front is trying to slow your progress and get you to swerve off the road. But don't get down the Hollywood route and bash them from the side, because you just break your steering. Instead, you've got to hit them from exactly the right angle from behind. Go get him, Tiff! A simple, well-timed tap with a bit of sideways motion will send the band guy helter-skeltering out of the way. You know how Tiff prefers oversteer to understeer? Well, there's a perfectly good reason. All those machine gun nests you find on the exit of fast bends can be taken care of with a deft swipe. Any frontal impact will slow you down, so just kick the back out for a glancing blow to maintain your getaway speed. Never mind all that tricky business of leaning out the window trying to shoot at persistent pursuers. Just hit the brakes, line yourself up and reverse into them. One punctured radiator later and you can carry on on your merry way. Try fitting a tow bar for extra effect. To the scene, cornered by revolutionaries, most experts will tell you to use the J-turn as a means of escape. How cowardly. Use it as a means of attack. Let's have it, Tiff. The trick here is to be brave. Reverse flicking a 4x4 isn't to be advised as you need maximum speed in reverse and it usually ends up on two wheels. It also usually means a new wing. So there you go, a few handy manoeuvres for keeping the bad guys at bay and a fair bit cheaper than forking out for all that armour. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find him, maybe you can hire needles. Let's roll.